Welcome to West Explains Best. Today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on use area of squares to visualize Pythagorean theorem. So this is a really good exercise to really kind of begin on what is this theorem and how to use it properly. Let's go ahead and start. Based on the areas of the squares, determine whether the triangle sh shown is a right triangle. One thing we need to know about Pythagorean theorem is it's this formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is your hypotenuse. That is your longest side in a right triangle, hypotenuse. Okay, so in this triangle, this blue side looks like the longest side. It always has to be opposite your 90 degree angle. Now, we don't know if this is actually a right triangle or not, so we're gonna have to uh, apply it. We're gonna have to say, is 64 squared equal to 10 squared plus 58 squared? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 squared plus 58 squared. And that gives me 3,464. Now we need to see if that's equal to 64 squared. Uh, let's see, oh, I'm just double check my answer, plus under it. Nope, it's not going to be. Okay, so this is not equal to 4096, which is 64 squared. So the answer is no, it's not a Pythag uh, this isn't a right triangle because we don't have a Pythagorean theorem relationship, no. Okay, next up. The diagram shows a right triangle in three squares. The area of this largest square is 67 units. Okay, so the area is 67 units. Okay, that means this is already square units. Essentially, we've already squared it. Okay, so we're just trying to see if it's e plus, now that's the longest side, so it's gonna be equal to, let me erase it and do it properly. So this needs to be equal to the other two squares and add it together. Okay, what could be the, the, the areas of the smaller squares? So we just need to find something that adds up to 67. Eight and 58 add up to 60, what is that, 66? That's no good, we want 67. This adds up to 67, okay? So B adds up to 67, and also C adds up to 67, so it could be B or C as our answers. All right, next one. Two sides of a right triangle measure seven and Three, what is the area of the square that shares this side with the third side of the triangle? Kind of poorly written, but that aside, uh, let's go ahead and figure this out. So we have seven and three. We know this relationship is seven squared plus three squared. If we call that A, that B, and our hypotenuse is C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So it's equal to C squared. That's equal to 49 plus nine. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to round in this one, okay, because we're going to get 58 equals C squared, and we'll have to take the square root of 58. So 58 square rooted, C equals the square root of 58, which equals C equals 7.62. Okay, I'm not sure what answer they're looking for here. Maybe they want it in exact terms of... They don't have a radical sign though. So I'm gonna go ahead and try 7.62 and see if it gives it to me. Hmm, I'm not sure exactly uh, which format they're, like it doesn't say rounding in the area of the square that, oh, it's asking for the area of the square, I'm so sorry. It's just asking for the area of the square. That means it's just looking for 58, sorry. It's not looking for the side length. It's just asking for that whole square, sorry. Oof. So that just means 58. I'm sorry. I'm kind of glad I made this mistake, so now you can see. And correct it for when you do it. Okay, the areas of the squares adjacent to two sides of a right triangle are shown below. What is the area of the square adjacent to the third side? Okay, so essentially we just need to add these two together. Okay, so if we have these two square, like it says, a squared, okay, a squared, b squared plus b squared, okay? Add those two together, and it's gonna equal c squared, c, oops, c squared, that, th this one, c squared. So we're just looking for c squared. So we just add 35 plus 50, and we get 85. And we're done. Sorry about that little hiccup with the three out of four, but hopefully you'll be seeing some success when you do this. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time.